more to go forward. Anisette's going to be penultimate horse to go in. Or, sorry, there's three more out the back, isn't there? Uh, Anisette's going to be uh, the third last horse to, to go forward. And then Congressbury, I think, and um, Dionysia will be about the last in. And he will come out of stool number eight. So last few heading in. We'll head up and join John. Thank you, Tom. So Congressbury goes forward. Dionysian will be the last. Attempting to continue a good night already for owners, opulence, thoroughbreds and rider Hector Crouch. Dionysian is almost in. Stall number eight. Trip is a mile. And they're off and racing. Dionysian out brightly enough on the wide outside to come and press for the lead with Ostasia, who got started well too. Annie set very much amongst the front runners, and so too is Congressbury as things settle down as Dionysian quickly and without too much effort goes into a two length lead at the head of affairs. Obama Army heads the next wave of runners in company with City of York, and just in behind those two. There's just a small gap back to the likes of Yeoman, who's racing up on the inside of Gallimimus. After these two, another small break back to Marinakis, who's now last of all, in fact, fishing rights towards the rear and Killani likewise. Dionysian leads the way back to the half-mile marker. So at halfway, Dionysian and Hector Crouch from the orange silks of Set in second. Osdacia and Congressbury still three and four. In fifth is Obama Army just being ridden along now. City of York comes next, followed by Yeoman. Gallimimus is driven along, so too. Kilani on the wide outside of those. Fishing rights last but one. Last of all is Marinakis as they head then for home. Just at the two furlong marker. Dionysian asked to lengthen his stride. Leads from Annie set in second place. Congressbury is in third. And then City of York plugging on in fourth place. Dionysian is still out in front. Less than a furlong to go. Dionysian's two in front. Congressbury drawing alongside Anisette to challenge for second. With City of York joining in as well. But Dionysian is just too good. Dionysian, Anisette may be second. City of York came home pretty strongly. To make things interesting, though, for the minor placings. And Congressbury was there as well, virtually to the line. Great day for Opulence Thoroughbreds. It's their first ever double earlier uh, between Lingfield and here, and now a treble as well, and a, a double in two races at Kempton Park. Dionysian has won easily. Uh, was sent to the front by uh, Hector Crouch. They come out of stall number eight, and he kept it very simple. I mean, if anything, this horse is more impressive than the previous winner, really taken with that. But you've got a really good shot front on when they were heading towards the camera. Just the, the size of this horse in comparison to the, to the rest of the field. He is a really big, impressive unit. It's tight for the placings in behind. Uh, looks as though Anaset has just about got second, third. I can't tell you for definite. Uh, Anaset, who was never too far away. But this was easy for, for Hector Crouch on the front end. And it just, it, it never looked in doubt, did it? Um, Congressbury down the outside, uh, he never really got fully rolling. Um, challenging over towards the far side was, was Yeoman, who'd waited for the cutaway, staying on from a bit further back, City of York. I think the step back up in trip was probably suited. But at this stage, Dionysian had absolutely skipped clear. Looks a, a really nice horse to go forward with. Now two from three, has won his last two. And um, this is going to be a day that um, opulence thoroughbreds Remember, for some time, that's a very impressive, a, a Christmas lunch. They all seemed sober enough. I think that'll change come after this. Tom, all yours? Yes, I wouldn't be at all surprised uh, by that, Tom. Oh, what a scopy, sizey individual he is. A really nice effort once again, Dave, and I think he's got a lot of talent in this horse. Absolutely, yeah. He gets his name from a famous athlete, doesn't he? And <laughs> he... Uh, he looks the part, this horse, and he's made light of carrying this penalty here, hasn't he? I, I suspect that Hector Crouch has done the right thing here. It's, it's hard to know. They, visually, they look strung out, but I'm not sure they've, got, they've gone that quickly. The leader is just on the right side of keenness there, I would say. And, yeah, he's won really impressively. 
um, I don't think that he's really been extended and he, he looks a, a really promising horse, doesn't he? What a, a great day for his owners. Um, anything else to add? Not really. I thought, um, was it City of York who came home well, who's on the outside there in about sixth place? But it was all pretty straightforward, wasn't it, for back as the favourite here? I don't know what it is, Rach, but I'm really excited about this. I think it's because I saw him in the flesh last time, mm. and he was he's so big when you actually see him up close. And I think it's probably fairly rare to have a horse of, of this ability on the flat who is so gigantic. As a two-year-old. Yeah. I mean, let's, pre let's preface that. Should, sorry, should preface it. First of all, yeah. he's running like this at a two-year-old. And secondly, I really want to know the stories behind the gnarly scars that are on both his horse's back hocks. I mean, this would suggest that there might have been, no pun intended, some growing pains with this horse when he was young. So the fact that he's, he only made his debut appearance in September as a two-year-old, but I mean, he's one that you could have totally appreciated. He could be out in a field and just chilling until he's, he's three, but for a big horse, he looks extremely well-developed for himself. He's, he's not one of the ones where he's got some scope to grow into himself. He's, he's there, but he's obviously had a few issues because he's got a lot of scars on the, on the backs of his legs. But for the other horses in the race, he's absolutely very brilliant. Anna said, both Dave and I liked this filly stepping up from fourth on debut to second. She would have won, had again, she run into one. Congressberry has run well enough off the, off the four-month break just sort of not showing a massive turn of foot, but again, that could be just a little bit flat, and we'll see this horse come come good later on. And the one that I, I loved, I loved him beforehand because I love these colors. They're, as we always say, in the all-weather winter world, they're the colors of royalty, the Alan Pickering colors, who finished out of the third or fourth with, with Congressberry, with City of York. He always names his horses out of York Northern things. It's out of a homebred Primrose Valley. His best horse was Robin Hood's Bay. They always, him and his wife always go racing. And we always joke, well, royalties here racing can, racing can go on. And we always joke about the five people who go all weather racing in the, in the winter joke. But he made it a very good improvement there. He was closer to the pace today than he had been. Cut up the inside. He'll be, he'll be a force to be reckoned with in Lingfield, three-year-old handicaps next season, but today it is all about opulence thoroughbreds, a new sort of syndicate for higher echelon people who want the opulence race day experience, and they've had three winners today.